Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you a deal called Signature Lead. This one lets you upload PDF documents that you can have them sent out by email and have them signed digitally. So it's pretty easy and straightforward to use this deal. So I want to show you this on my desktop right now. So let's jump over there. All right, this is the deal that's on right now. It's called Signature Lead, and it's only $59. Not something that I want to let you know is that this is a really easy to use platform. And in that sense, it's not complex and it doesn't have a lot of features yet. So right now they don't have webhooks, Zapier, or API access, but they are counting on adding that later on. So they will have a roadmap. So let me show you the deal right now. So it's $59 and it's actually pretty sweet because it's not like limited. They have for $59, you get three users, but you get unlimited signatures, unlimited templates and custom branding. Now the custom branding is also really limited and I'll show you that in this video. Now it's pretty cool that you get three users from this deal and you get practically everything else. Now if you're planning to add teammates, then yes, jump into the next code which is $118 and you get unlimited users. But if not, you're fine with $59. All right, let's jump over to Signature Lee. This is the main dashboard for it and you get three options. But before we even jump into this, let's go into the settings so you actually get an understanding how powerful this is or what you can actually do with it. So let's go into settings right now and we can upload our own logo. We can upload our, we can add our company name, our from email address, the email name and heads up, you can add your own email address yet. So no SMTP available and you can redirect them to a page. Um, I recommend you redirect them because when you don't do that, when they sign the document, it goes into like their signature lead page where you can download the document and you can sign up for signature lead. So it looks a little bit less professional. So I would suggest doing redirection and document preferences. So available signatures so they can draw, upload or type the signature. So maybe you want to do it by only drawing. You can remove these. And you can merge documents after signing or enable sign signature signer security access. Um, what that means is that you got to give them like a special code so they can be able to actually view it and sign it. So it depends what you want to do. Um, profile, you add your information right here. Images, um, it's something you have to set up are preferences. So depending on the country you're in, for example, in my country, Mexico, it's day, month, year. United States, it's the other way around. So it's month, day, year. So set that up and also set the time zone. These are not set automatically, so do that. All right, and a couple of other options for um, notifications. And you can add your own signatures right here to make the process more faster. For example, if I were to create one, I can do it by typing in, see that? Or I can draw it, or I can upload an image, and those will be saved to use later on for like my signatures that I will be using. So those are the things that I suggest you set up before you get started. Okay. So now you get three options. So you can send out a document only for yourself for to sign for me and others, which would be the most popular one. And just so the others sign it. Okay. So you got those available. Now let's start off with one of these and you got available templates, but we'll view that in a bit. Okay. So let's, let's give this document a title. So let's say, let's say test for video. All right. And optional message that you want to add. Let's just say sign before. 15 days. Um, you can add whatever you want or just leave it blank. It's optional. Okay. The signers. So it's going to be me because I selected me and others. So that's added by default. It's going to send me an email so I can sign it. Okay. Now let's add the other people. So let's just say John is going to sign it and his email is going to be my other email just for testing purposes because we will, we will be viewing how this actually looks and we can add more signers if we like. So for example, we can add George. And this one, I'll just wing it, right? I'll add whatever email. Okay. And we can customize the order that these are signed if we want. So custom signing order. So we can drag and drop these if we like, or we could just send them out and it just, everyone has to sign in. So that's a good option. That's, that's right there. We can choose a template that we've already set up. And basically what I'm going to do right now is the same as setting up as a template. So I'm going to upload a file right here. And I'm going to select one of the ones I got signature Lee SEO, right? Going to grab that there. It's going to upload. Now we can import from one of these platforms if we like. So Google drive, OneDrive, Dropbox and box. You can set those up up here in the integrations. That's where you would add your accounts to view those. Okay. That's uploaded. Let's prepare the document for signing. And there we go. This is the document that we have right now. Let me scroll all the way down here. 
and we're just gonna simulate that this is a real document and we have some fields where they have to sign it okay so let's click on drag the signer over here so company name that would be me and I'll drag another signee for the customer name now I'm gonna click on that signing right there and I'm gonna select who is going to sign this so we got the other options which is John and George so let's click on John which is the one who's gonna sign there oh that's something I don't like when you click out of the box it adds another signature so heads up for, for that hope they change that all right um, let's just say we need to add initials so let's add that there and again we're gonna we're gonna sign this for John that's gonna be that one and let's add a date for fun over here on the bottom we can add some text if we like for example we can add text right there where they would add, where they would add that there let's have that for John and another checkbox I just put it under John right there so that could be a signature checkbox or I am I want to subscribe and that's a little checkbox right so you could do that however you want we can make these fields required or not we can check by default and if you like how it's done and you like where the fields are then we can go ahead and send it out all right so that is going to be sent out uh, please don't meet signatures has no fields assigned okay so it's saying I didn't have a field assigned for the third person so I'll just add that person right here for George okay there we go now let's go send it out all right and this is gonna take a little bit um, in my previous test they took about two to three minutes so let's give it some time for them to arrive in the email box so we can check it out so let's give it a little time all right so here are the emails and practically it took less than a minute and we have two emails right here why because I sent it out to my email number one and number two just for testing purposes so let me open up the second one which be the email for the, the person who has to sign it so that's number two email right there and you got the branding right here in signaturely so that can't be removed but I got my logo right here obviously I didn't select the right size that's why it looks a little bit weird and but yes there is branding on it so it's not customizable it's not white label you don't have SNTP this is sent out by no reply at signaturely.com so those are things that you have to consider all right so let's view document in incognito mode so I am not logged into to Signature Lee. I don't have an account. This is how your client is going to look at it. So again, we have the domain that's going to Signature Lee. We have the logo for Signature Lee. And let's go down here for the document. Let's just say they read it and it's all good. Okay, so John has to sign this. So let's click on John and create a brand new signature. We have the three options available because we didn't remove any of them. So they have available to sign in by typing by drawing or by uploading an image. So let's just wing it right here. Let's draw, draw the initials. And yes, I understand signature, create that signature and it's added right there. So we added one of this one also. So let's sign that. Oh, I got to select one of these sign. And let's just say this is a checkbox for something that you wanted to do. Like, yes, I want to subscribe. Then you just click on it. And there's a text box right here that if we wanted to add information there, should have made that bigger but you get the idea you can add a text box in case someone wants to add an observation right just they can do that the date is here on the bottom we can modify this date if we like so for example the 15th instead of that date and if we're good to go then we submit it so yes I agree to the condition the terms and conditions um, these terms and conditions I didn't find a way to modify them so basically they are signature lead terms and conditions um, and it took me here it should have took me to the what do you call it the landing page instead of this one this is what I told you so this is a little bug that I just found um, it should take me to the landing page instead of taking me right here again I can download it or print it and it will be sent out to my email now I will be getting a couple of emails um, one email that I will be receiving is that they opened up the document so that's one and the other one would be that they signed it already so I get all that information right here okay let's go back into signaturely to show you what's going on okay oh. Here we go let's go into signature right, right here and let me refresh this this is what the documents are sent out it's still waiting because I haven't signed it just I have the other party signed it we have options available right here so for example we can preview the document we can share the document we can edit and resend and we can send the reminder so let's just say it's been a week and they haven't signed it well let's send it again so they can remind it and we have the activity log the activity log is pretty good um, I'm not gonna open it well I will open it okay I'll just blur out the IP addresses okay 
So you get all the information of the data was created, was it was it updated, was it signed, who looked at it, and all that information. So here is sent at, viewed, and signed that. You got all, all that information there. So again, I just blurred out the IP because that's something that um, you shouldn't view there. So let's go back into signature Lee. And basically that is what you get, for example, with the documents, you got the completed um, document folder, you get the awaited signature and you got the drafts. And you can also create templates with this. Uh, templates are pretty easy and straightforward. I created one already. And basically what you do is you load in the PDF. Let me just do that there. Let's set a name for it. Just SEO2 um, test. Uh, the roles that will be here, for example, this is going to be my signature, all right, and this is going to be client. You would add those there for client one, client two, or if you want to add more roles. You upload the, the document right here. Let's add that signature link right there. Open. Let's wait for that to upload. And basically, you have this template to use later on really fast and really easily. Because you already have the fields placed, you already have the document ready. If it's going to be for SEO, it's going to be a rent document. It's going to be just however you want it, but you have those ready. Again, we add the same fields and they get added. In this case, when, when we add a signature, let me show you that. It's going to be my signature and it's going to be, for example, set it to client. So that way it's set that way. So it's my signature and the client one. And you can create that document there. Back to templates and we got, we got that template ready to use whenever we want to send out. And the last feature that it has is teammates. Remember that the one code only has three members, so be aware of that. And if you need unlimited, then get the two codes. But basically, that those are the features of the Signature Lee. Like I said, it's super easy to use, it's not complex, and in that sense, not being complex, is that there's a lot of features that are not here. So for example, we can only upload PDF documents, we can't load Word. Um, it's an integrations they only have these available so again I wish they had Zapier webhooks API and some other ones that we might use and SMTP is a must because I want emails sent out with my email address and not signaturely if that's something that doesn't bother you then it's good to go right and there's a lot of features that are they are planning to add I do recommend that you head on over to the site right here in AppSumo Check out the questions that people have been asking and they've been responding saying that if this is something that people are asking, then we will be adding it to the roadmap for further development. So those are things to consider. Well, that is Signature Lee. If you guys like this video and if you found it helpful to decide if you're going to grab this or not, do consider using my link, which is an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more and it gives you a small commission to buy these deals, make videos for you guys, and just upload them so you guys can check them out. Thank you for watching. My name is George. This is SaaS Master and I'll see you guys later.